Hey guys, today I'm in our basement. I just want to share what's going on. Uh, we will have a basement project. So yeah, it starts already. And I'm very excited because this will be a new space for everyone to enjoy, especially my son, Tommy. He will have this big play area here. And I will give you a little tour right now before they start the project. So first of all, this is the view from the window in this basement they will put the dumpster on the back corner it won't be on top of the concrete or the grass because they cut our grass every tuesday tuesday may 14 they will leave the dumpster in our backyard on the gravel right now we have the exterior already insulated but not everything so they're gonna be adding some insulation on that side and like a few in here, also here, and then there. Now I'm gonna be describing each room that we're gonna build in here. This will be the play area or what we call the great room. Over here, we're gonna have a little closet here to cover those pipes. This is um, one window here The door going to the back porch. Another window here. We're gonna insulate this exterior wall and we'll have an access panel for this. And they're gonna put some drywall there. And probably we'll have our TV later on there. They will be putting a big French door over here is gonna be like 72 inches wide. This under the stairs will be a little shoe room. We will put some shelving over here because we love shoes and we just don't know where to put them. This will be insulated. This is the door going to the garage. We have an oversized garage over here. It's not cleaned up yet. We're gonna clean up once we are done with the basement okay and this will be a big area here too we plan on putting like a little bar here later on this is the stairs so when you go down here i plan on putting a wall over here it's gonna be wall and then create a new hallway over here. It's gonna be um, 37 inches wide. That's my plan. And then once you come over here, this is gonna be the door going to the soundproof room. We're gonna soundproof this one. It's gonna be a big soundproof room. It's going to be my studio. Probably we're gonna we're gonna have a karaoke here, portrait studio. Maybe put a couch later on, and this is gonna be my closet. And then once we move out here, this is the door going out here. This is a little hallway, like thirty-seven inches wide. This is gonna be like there's gonna be a door over here for this little closet no i don't know if it's gonna be a closet but we have to enclose this pump and then when you get out here this is going to be the door for the powder room and when you come here this is going to be insulated they're going to be moving the pipes we decided to have just a powder room here we don't need another shower because we already have four showers in this house so this is going to be a 38 inch wide vanity and then the toilet over here okay so this is this room let's go out here okay this is the exit and this is our hvac system we will also enclose this one with an access door this freezer we're probably gonna move it over here maybe and this is the door 36 inch wide this is gonna be our gym and we're very excited about this one 
Of course, we're going to insulate this. And then about the flooring, we decided to have laminate flooring for the entire basement. It's a high-end flooring. It's over $15,000 just for the flooring for the basement. But that's fine. I think it's going to be worth it. This is the sample we got in the mail on May 13th. The contractor would like us to check if we like the texture of this one. I actually like it so much. And as you can see, it's thick. The color of the sample is rare vintage. That's really nice. It's really high end. You can see it's not flat. It got some texture on it and it feels nice. Upstairs, we have hardwood floor, but this one is laminate. We're probably going to get a lighter color like what we have here more brownish so for the gym it's also going to be laminate but i plan on getting individual mats as long as they all match we're gonna have rubber mats under each like treadmill bicycle we're probably gonna have a um, floor mirror over here somewhere here and then a tv so we can follow some youtube videos this is our um, hvac they're gonna have some vents here so we don't need to have another system in the basement. That's our cold water line and then hot water line. And we're going to have recessed lighting all over the basement. I also decided to have a solid core door. It's more expensive, but it should help with soundproofing the room. And we're going to insulate the bathroom and of course the soundproof room so it will help with the noise so even when my son is loud i can still film here whenever i want and yeah the size of this basement is 1472 square feet not including the garage i think the garage is like 400 something square feet because it's an oversized one i think it's 400 square feet the recess lighting all over the place and then of course they're gonna put all the necessary outlets we're all excited about this basement before we were just thinking about having a bedroom a storage room and a full bathroom but then we had to change our minds because that wasn't exciting why can't i have my studio that's my dream actually i have my office upstairs and i was kind of using that as a studio but i don't have privacy there sometimes because it's a french door my little daughter would be knocking on my door and was like interrupting me in the middle of filming so in this way i will have a door that doesn't have any glass on it for the soundproof room and for the gym i decided to have a full glass door so you can see if anyone is in the gym. I think it's going to be great. Um, before too, I, we were thinking about not having a bathroom down here because we have four full bathrooms already. But then we had to think like, why not put even just a powder room so that if you're in the gym, you're drinking your water, you need to pee, you can just go right there, right? So I think... We made good decisions. I'm just really excited how it will turn out in the end. The licensed contractor that I got, by the way, I had different estimates and I actually didn't know that I found someone on Google that is not licensed. So I had to look up this guy who's going to do our basement, his license. So that's, that's a good thing. Just be careful with that. When you Google someone, it doesn't mean that you know, they have a website that they're already licensed. You have to look up your state website and then look for their name there and they should be on the list. Another red flag is if they ask you to pull your permit because I asked the county and they were like, is there a reason why your contractor would like you to pull your permit? A licensed contractor would pull the permits themselves. So that's when I found out the other guy isn't licensed. This contractor said that estimate is about six to seven weeks. So I'm really hoping by july this should be done all right and then i'm gonna show you how it turns out and i hope you stay tuned i'll show you when it's done